Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Lost Ark. Last time, the city here had been set ablaze by a demon invasion, and now we are still kind of dealing with the aftermath of that. You can catch I the can't believe these demons are here. Never, never touch strange orbs. Yeah, you will catch the plague, yeah. Okay, we are going over to talk to the tavern keeper. So... Uh, we did save a bunch of the civilians, that's true. Okay, I have something to tell you, it's about my name. Okay, click again. Since you're looking for the Ark, perhaps you've heard of Neria. She's the woman who helped the sidereal Lutera. This tavern was where the sidereals gathered before their battle with Kazaros. Of course, this is not the exact location. The original site is revered like a sanctum now. My tavern and I are just using the names from the legends. Since you saved my life, I thought you deserved to know my actual name. My real name is Kana. Okay. Don't tell anyone else it's a secret between you and me, okay? Not sure why it has to be a secret, but that's fine. Hmm? Okay, now what? Uh, meet the father of Verut. Okay, we can do that. Oh, we are done with you. Another round here! Hey, have you heard? Demons have appeared on Ankumo Mountain. Let's see if there's a use. How do you like Pride Home Adventure? Lovely weather we're having today. Thank goodness. The repairs were completed sooner than we expected. Both tribulations and joy are part of the gods' will. It says here that in order to find the Ark of King Lutera, you need the sword seal and the eagle seal. The sword seal lies beneath the salt desert of Yudia in the kingdom of Morai. However, in order to get to Yudia, you'll have to cross the rugged mountains of Ankumo. I will pray for your safe passage in this arduous journey. May Regulus, the lord of all gods, watch over you. And you as well. Father Verut. Alright, so we are going into the mountains, apparently. Pride Home is safe thanks to your help. I can't thank you enough. If oh, I'll pray for you to uncover the secrets of the stone tablet with Father Armin and reach the Ark. Okay. If your destination is Yudia, it will be a long journey across the borders. I talked to a merchant named Edmund at Traveler's Nook to arrange the trade. He'll give you directions to Yudia. Ask for me. I'm meeting Priestess Garoa at Ankumo Mountain. When you're finished with everything here, please join me on the mountain. Uh, where is this exactly? Oh, okay. Yeah, we could teleport right there. We, we might as well. Let's... Go ahead and do that. I don't think I have anything here that I really, really want to do or finish off at the moment. So we'll keep progressing the main story scenario. Yeah. 
you useless porters. You must be the adventurer Father Armin told me about. Are you sure about crossing the border? Once you pass the rugged Akumo Mountains, you'll arrive at the wide open salt plains. That's how you know you're in Yudia. There are large, terrifying monsters near the border, so be careful and help and get help from the guards. Not that you'll need it, of course. I suggest you ride a horse to get there. You haven't forgotten, right? Register the horse. Yeah, I, I know all about that. They really want to make sure in this game that you go into your menus and that they get you into those menus and they, they, they do a decent job of repeating some of the same information over and over again. Uh, which if you got it the first time is annoying, but if you missed it the first time is probably absolutely essential that, uh, that you hear it again. I don't think we are going to ride a horse. I think we are just going to run out there. Doesn't really seem that far. And we can fight along the way. <laughs> the cross the bridge using a horse it said I, I'm I think the game is a little bit confused about how we're not doing exactly what it tells us to do okay let's see here uh, oh what is this oh we don't get this to level 16 we are currently level 15 leap four meters forward then thrust downward uh, okay that seems cool What else do we need to get to level 4? This one here would be good. We can open weakness, we can increase our crit, or we can do the AoE. Let's increase our crit with this one. No doubt since this is a solved game, there's probably like ideal talent specs for each of the subclasses. As you have probably realized, I'm not following a predetermined build that I found online. I'm just kind of picking stuff that makes sense to me as I go. Ultimately, at endgame, if we wanted to do the endgame competitive stuff, we probably would just respec following a guide. But for right now, we're just going to do uh, what we want. That, that being said, I welcome suggestions and tips. Uh, it doesn't always mean that I'm going to follow them, so don't be too upset if you suggest something, even if it's a great idea and you don't I've see me actually like enact it right now. Be careful. Go see Priestess Goroa if you want safe passage. All right, what happened to you guys, though? The area is beset by plague. Your safety is not guaranteed without the Priestess's help. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know how this got opened. This game might suffer from menu bloat. <laughs> there might be too many menus. Yeah, I mean, you have a menu for sheet music. So at that point, I feel like, yeah, we have a lot of menus. Well, this is a slightly different looking area. None of these people look like they're doing very well. Uh, that's not good. Okay. 
this obelisk looks like it would be important, but we can't interact with it right now. Maybe we'll be sent back here later for a quest. I'm seeing more moss wolves than usual. Got a side quest, a side quest even here from Border Guard Toba. I don't want Garoa to trip over something while taking care of the sick. I mean, I'm worried about the sick. We'd better move the debris out of their way. This medicinal water that Garoa made herself, just like her, it has the ability to calm the sick and alleviate their pain. Please help administer the medicine to the patients. We could do that. Uh, okay, the patients are all seemingly right nearby. Aren't we getting a bit too close to the sick? Uh, clear the debris. Oh, okay, we... Clear the debris, alright. Oh, pick up these things and maybe walk them over to the orange area. How do we, uh, oh, we hit R to drop it. Okay. It hurts so much. Thank goodness the color has returned to their faces. This is all because of Garoa. You're from Brideholm, right? You're the adventurer Father Armin told me about. That's right. This place was protected by the Altars of Blessing until the, their power disappeared one day. It's probably because of the demons that appeared along with the plague. These gems should help the Altars regain their power. Father Armin went to the Sacred Spring. You should go see him once everything is settled here. We can't rid ourselves of the plague without getting rid of the red ghost spiders that have been spreading it. The Red Ghost Spiders are gathered around the Altar of Blessing, and there are too many of them for us to handle. If you can reduce their numbers even a little, that would be great. Would you mind telling Manis about what's going on here? Uh, the spiders... yeah, we saw some down here. Maybe we have to go to all these places. We can go ahead and mount up for this. I'm seeing more moss wolves than usual. Let's come over here and get the last of the spiders that we need. Did you say the altar is overrun with red ghost spiders? That's not good. First it was moss wolves, now it's red ghost spiders. Charms will keep us safe, uh, right? Nope. Nope, I don't think spiders care about charms. I'm not really sure, but... This place is too dangerous.
All right, it looks like we are moving on down the road here. Even Log Hill is better than this mess. I don't understand why I have to collect all this mucus. They transferred me out here from Log Hill. I want to hunt the grave robbers, not these stupid skahals. Skahals? We'll hunt the skahals for you, buddy. Hey, you over there. I know you must be busy, but do you mind doing a guy a favor? I need strong bones from the skahal. Careful not to scratch them, thanks. Oh, right. Get some red ghost spider claws, too. And be sure you don't bend them. Of course. We'll make sure all the monster parts oh, are in pristine condition. I've gotten a bit better, thanks to I Father think Armin. I'm feeling better. Uh, do we go do the main quest it's first? Now let's thought. talk to Armin. The springs in the area are contaminated. Mm -hmm. If they're left alone, they'll further spread the plague. We must purify them. Please burn the carcasses of any animals you find. Also sprinkle the water of the sacred spring into the contaminated springs. That's it. feel like these things are respawning damn near instantly. Uh, let's see, can we click our thing before they respawn again? I don't know. Just need one more body. Let's, let's get in here. Okay, we got it. Yeah, instant respawns. Not, not the best thing that can happen. Not when you're trying to click on stuff in the field. guys are still attacking us even back in camp. There we go. I think I'm feeling better. Now that we've prevented the plague from spreading, this place should be safe. It was really easy to stop the plague from spreading. I expected that to be a little bit larger of a plot thread. I'm worried about the border watch though. Okay. Does that mean you want us to go check on the border watch or or what? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, checking our inventory here. What do we got? We have this. I think blue is better. I don't really know what this stuff is. I guess I should read it. Gentle priest at Pride Home Cathedral, a member of the Sacred Order. Are these just cards? Do we just... 
use these. Okay, I'm using them. Hmm. Careful, the plague has spread widely. A cluster of red ghost spiders has laid eggs nearby. There are spider eggs everywhere. Before long, they'll hatch into an army of eight-legged freaks. We still have time to stop that. Let's make let's take them out. Those cursed spiders! Take a brief look around while we get eaten alive by spiders. So we are now seeing what? Plague zombies? Twisted infected. Okay. Yeah, so plague zombies. We had demons, of course we have to have zombies Avoid the too. Corpses of those who died of the plague. Yeah. Avoid the corpses and, and kill the walking corpses. Uh, let's come over here and get the waypoint first. There we go, border watch triport is active. What? I'm getting sick of You're fighting. Getting a bit better. Thanks to Father Armin. The plague has spread further than anyone expected. The sky is black from burning all the bodies. I'm trying to save as many as I can, but we're sorely undermanned at the guard posts. This place needs someone like you. All right, it's getting real. Uh, we might have to burn Strathholm to the ground if things continue like this. So we'll see what happens. All the barricades are broken. The next time bolts attack, we're dead. Everyone is too weak to fight the bolts now. Uh, okay. We'll fight the bolts? I don't know what they are. I got a bad feeling about this. Nozen made a wise decision. Thank you for handling that. Okay. Alright, so let's, let's talk to you again. Please, defend the outpost against these infected attackers. Got it. In the meantime, I'll tend to the soldiers here. Be careful not to catch the plague. Oh yeah, we'll just be careful not to. We'll wear we'll wear our face masks, and we'll social distance. Thanks to Father Arm. And we'll just this we'll just be nightmare. careful. You know, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Avoid the corpses of those who died of the plague. Why are the bolts swarming here? Okay, we've repaired the barricade. The plague is spreading everywhere. Were you and the father sent by some benevolent god? Not quite. I've gotten a bit better, thanks to Father Arm. This is a 
Let's check out the other side. You know, let's visit the vendor too. Maybe we need to do a quick repair. No trade skill here. Oh, the stench of burning oh, corpses is terrible. It's unbearable here. Every day, all anyone can smell is corpses being burned. I can handle the smell, but I hate it when the corpses get back up again. What if I become infected like them? Ah, uh, then hopefully one of your compatriots will put you down. It's the best you could hope for in a situation like that. Oh, the stench of burning corpses is terrible. Oh, when they try to burn them, they come back. Oh, that's not good. Maybe they need to destroy the brain. Hmm. Wonder if anyone's told them that. Finally, they're taken care of, for now anyway. All of this because of the plague. We have to find a way to stop it. I feel like story-wise, this game is stealing things from like every fantasy story ever told, but it's doing them pretty well and chaining those things together pretty well, so I, it's, I've gotten a bit better. I'm not complaining, uh, because at least they're doing it well, but... Obviously, we can see a lot of familiar plot threads here. The execution's gonna be what matters. So far, the execution is something they've been doing good with. The soldiers at the post can take a breather now. <laughs> what a relief. Bolts have been attacking the closed border post, and it's highly possible that they have been exposed to the plague. I'd like you to go to the closed border post and help the guards there. Why are there guards there if we closed it down? Ah, uh, that's all the way back over this way. Let's go ahead and mount up. Do not go Some near the corners. guards have been afflicted. <laughs> Why are the bolts swarming here? So the bolts have to be some kind of human enemy? I guess, if they're being infected. The bolts are on a rampage. from the outpost. When are we going to get some back? We're under attack by plagued creatures. We must support the command post, but we can't get to it because of those creatures. Please call them on your way to the ch to check the situation at the command post. Okay. Yeah, those cursed creatures. Well, we've got some kind of uh, maybe a rare spawn over here. Ouch. Alright, so these are the bolts. That might have been the first time that I've noticed the level up animation go off on the screen.
How long can we hold them off? All right, looks like we have a little solo instance scenario here. Uh, let's spend our skill points first. Are we close with anything? Uh, yeah, we can go here. Damage to lower level foes. On hit, movement speed reduced or cooldown reduction. Uh, let's go with more damage to lower level enemies. Uh, we can't seem to go any further that way. Maybe we're going into the little portal over here. There we go. This is a bad time to have guests. We're under attack. I see that. We've, we've lost a lot of soldiers to them. Those who are still alive don't even have the strength to lift their swords. I know I'm asking a lot, but please help us protect this place against the demons. Blow up the explosive barrels we've set up, and it'll do a number on the enemy. A plague spreading demon is controlling the nearby monsters. Ignite the powder kick. Fight to the end. Oh good! <laughs> Caught in the explosion. I was kind of waiting for that to happen. defeated. We can transport the wounded and repair the damaged areas. Burn the corpses to stop the plague from spreading. You came at just the right time. Who knew the demons would sick bolts on us? Go to the border watch, let Parker know about this, and offer him help if he needs it. I guess that was it. Yeah, the scenarios are pretty short, typically. The only longer one we had was the one where we were rescuing the villagers uh, from the burning village. Uh, let's see. Okay, we are just going back up to the north here. Why are the vaults swarming here? Do not Some of those guards have been afflicted. You've met my captain? Drat. The demons were controlling the both guys. Thank you for your help. If it weren't for you and Father Armin, the command post would have been lost. I don't know how to deal with this plague and the demons at the same time. The soldiers are doing their best to secure the border, but many have fallen ill to the plague. I see. To think that the demons are leading the bolt and spreading the plague. What is their plan? There must be the plague's there must be the plague's source somewhere. Hmm. We should hurry up and find a way to cure this plague. That's how most plagues are cured, I, I think, by hurrying. Pretty sure that's how science is done. I hope the guards at the border can hold out a little longer. Can, can you head out and check on them while I tend to the sick here? That's what we've been doing the whole time, man. They fought the demons until the end. Like the proud border guards they were. Even now, the other surviving guards are working to find the plague's source by searching all over Ankumo. Scouts are even still at Aqualox Head, the most dangerous area in the entire mountain range. 
Despite our heavy losses, we will continue to do our duty to the and guard this place with our lives. Oh, by the way, Priestess Garora left this record for Father Armin. Please deliver it to him. Isn't he standing, like, right here? No, he's gone now. He's he's 12 feet away. It's fine. These are records left by a pilgrim who was looking for the Ark a long time ago. The pilgrims who looked for the Ark settled down in the monastery near the Rathramus border. First, go to the monastery and gather more information. The situation here is urgent, but we cannot neglect them while they are suffering. I will care for the soldiers who were injured by demons and go find you after that. Demon blood flows through me, but I am a priest of the light and this is my duty. Hurry, go now. I'll catch up to you. Okay. I've gotten a bit better, thanks to Father Armin. At least he can actually cure the plague. It's better than you get in some fantasy universes where if there's a plague, the healing magic really can't do this much to touch nightmare. it. The Rathramus border. Okay. Doomed. I managed to escape safely, but I'm afraid Venice didn't. My caravan is just north of here. Please see if it's okay. It's probably not okay. I had to guess. Ouch. What in the hell was that? Somebody, please put out the fire! <laughs> As we stand and watch. Grab buckets of water. Hurry, hurry! Oh, the fire is over here, okay. Eliminate the grave diggers around the wagon. Um. Oh, okay. The grave diggers are not people, they are these insects. Pray that some of our goods survived the flames. You're traveling to the monastery? Just follow this road. I wouldn't go there if I were you, though. Almost everyone there caught the plague. It was awful. Even the monks are sick, which leaves no one to take care of the others. It's cursed raiders. Well, that sounds fun. Hurry, hurry! There was a box with a medicine kit in it, but I don't know where it is now. We packed in such a hurry that I have no idea where anything is anymore. Will you help me find my things? Of course we will. Well, that was easy. Thank the gods you checked the chest right next to me. If we left behind those who caught the plague, just like I said, this wouldn't have happened. First, a gi gigantic worm appeared out of nowhere, and then a group of raiders attacked. Hmm. There's a piece of paper stuck to the medicine kit. Since you found the kit, I'll give it to you. Why don't you read it?
Use a quest trigger item to begin a new quest. Okay. The mysterious note in the mossy journal seems to be related to the ghost haunting the graveyard. Okay. It's dangerous outside. The plague. Take care to avoid the plague. That's what everyone keeps telling us. Keep your distance. This is tough. Okay, we've reached the rogue monastery. I mean, Regaria Monastery. This place is in grave danger. Plague is spreading. Our medicines are useless. And anyone who tries to help just gets sick. Mm. The situation is growing dire. And now the dead have risen to attack any the plague has spared. Please, help us. Well, it has more build-up than Stratholme, but eventually something drastic is probably going to have to be done. The last time, the demons placed some strange orbs in monastery orchards. Plague spread across the land soon after, turning it into a bastion of death. Those things must be related to the plague. Hunt down the orbs and destroy them. We're short on everything. Guess I should take the things that I have here. I don't know what they are. Okay. Looking for something. Ah, uh, level 80 sword, not as good as what we have. Any armor? Ah, uh, yeah, we could buy some armor. It looks exactly the same as what we are currently wearing, so there we go. We're short on everything. What are those monks thinking? I'm doing my best. Approaching. Demons have occupied the granary containing the monastery's food. Here we go. They're poisoning the grain. As things stand, everyone here will starve if the plague doesn't kill them. You look pretty strong. Can you help us take the demons around the granary? We, we certainly can. I don't know if that's going to help you guys in the long run, but we can do it.
Okay, let's turn this one in, then let's go down to the makeshift infirmary, and we're gonna grab the other side quest that's down there. I don't want to leave any of these side quests behind. Be careful, I'm doing my best. Wow, you're as good as I thought. That's a load off my chest. Uh, a load off your chest is when you, like, tell somebody something you've been holding back for a long time. A weight off your shoulders is when your stress has been relieved because somebody did something for you. Just a little bit of a language difference, right? It's where the patients are. Take care to avoid the plague. <sighs> I feel we are going we through tough times. We need to replace some parts in the windmills on the wind road, but the replacement parts are in the farmhouse. When you find the replacement parts, please deliver them to Brother Minero at the monastery. Okay. I guess they're up here. Let's go do that first, and then we'll go back to the monastery. I mean, I guess riding a mount most of the time is probably good, that way you don't have to constantly fight through respawns of stuff that you've already cleared. Could be a reason for the mount. Thank you. Father Armin is here, helping us treat the patients. He's tending to the monks over there. Please go see him. Got a lot on my mind. I'm short on everything. The windmills aren't just for milling flour. They must be in operation at all times. We use them to pump up the holy water buried in the ground. Please use these parts to repair the broken windmills and then report back. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Father Armin first, since we are here. I I've never seen a disease like this before. I, I don't know what to do. Keep healing people. You're a healer. These people dismay or display even symptoms similar to those of a snake bite. 
but their disease is progressing so quickly that I'm worried there might not be enough time to attempt more than one treatment. I've heard stories of mystical stones with healing properties kept hidden here. Maybe it can alleviate their sickness. Please see what bro Brother Alred knows about the stone. It's said to be a piece of jade. Okay. The orbs? I don't know about them. Brother Dylon may be able to help you. Okay, let's go talk to more people. He went to support the border post. You'll have to follow him there. He's gone to help the guards. Got it. Okay, we have to go all the way up there anyway. We have to fix the windmills on the way. What are those monks thinking? The demons are approaching. Oh, apparently we only had to fix one of the windmills. <laughs> this game is really light when it comes to like how many objectives it has you do for a quest, whether it's a kill quest, or a repair quest, or a pickup quest. They have you do like a third of what I would expect to do in most MMOs. Which is fine, it's not, it's not bad. It gives you it's less time to press your buttons. Overwhelming losses. Uh, we really need to replace those windmill parts. Thank you for taking care of them for us. Okay, looks like we got another level here. We are now level 17. Sec secret dungeon map. Waiting Demons Plaza. It's in this area somewhere. Okay, we will investigate that at some point. Uh, let's see. I don't really know what else I want to do here. I guess we could level up our Kamehameha. There we go. Preparation and charge speed? Yeah, that sounds like it would be good for that one. Does it mark it on our map? No, not really. We have to, like, compare. Rethramus border... Hmm. So somewhere right down here. Okay. Uh, we'll investigate that at some point. It's over. We will have our revenge. We've already lost too many guards, but I'm glad help has arrived. I'm worried about the monastery, the infirmary too. Let's grab our waypoints. We're too busy trying to survive the next hour to worry about the plague. Think you can exterminate the giant corpse spiders outside the post? Yeah, obviously. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I mean, we got it, but it was thoroughly disgusting. We've suffered. I saw the spiders fall. The stone you mentioned. I think it's the serpentine jade. It has superb detoxifying properties. Mm -hmm. It's in a cave called Aquilox Trail, not far away from here, but right now it's swarming with demons. It'll be too dangerous to get in there. Oh, will it though? It's over. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right down here. They're like, it's too dangerous. Go there anyway. Of course we're gonna go there anyway. Oh, 
Uh, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to do it on hard. Cancel matchmaking. Hard. Matchmaking. There we go. Accept. Well, since it is too dangerous, it'll be good to go in here with a party of like-minded adventurers. Looks like we're headed this way. Interesting that little part we're just in here is not even on the map. Let's get our health back a little bit here. Alright, that looks like a boss of some kind. Uh, we have a slowing effect on us. Alright, we don't want to stand in that uh, little bubble poison thing he's doing. Oh no! Oh, we got out of there somehow and didn't get hit. Ooh, invincibility frames for the win, I guess.
Uh, that seems bad. I want out. I want out. <laughs> way, way out. Um, okay, we need to get in, I think. There we go. I think we managed to not get hit by any of that. There's only certain areas in the circumference that we can stand in. So we're interacting with the orbs, I guess this is going to help us cure or stop the plague. Uh, but is it going to backfire in some way? That's the question. Song of Escape. Play the Song of Escape to leave a dungeon. Uh, playing the Song of Escape, yeah, that would be a really cool thing to be able to do. I actually have no idea how we would do that. Probably in one of the many, many menus that I just don't know about. Here we go, Song of Escape, play. Whew, okay, we probably need that, like, somewhere. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Again, I'm really happy with the dungeons in this game. The fact that we were able to just get into a hard mode dungeon and have a successful run. The boss mechanics were pretty fun. They weren't super challenging, but it wasn't just stand there and hit your buttons till it falls over. Uh, so that is welcome. We need to get all the way back here. Let's just go ahead and teleport back. I'd like to get this one turned in. With this serpentine jade, we should be able to treat those suffering from the plague. I can sense the mystical energy in this jade. I'll begin the treatment. Let me handle things Would you here. Travel to Yudia and look for oh, we're traveling somewhere and looking for something, but the cutscene kind of... Cutscene kind of took over. <clears throat> How are you feeling? I believe I owe you... my life. My friend and I are on our way to Yudia, in search of the Ark. Father Verut said that we must look for the Morai ruins. The ruins of Moria? We were wondering if you've ever heard of it. Morai? Oh, um, Morai. Yes. <laughs> Not Moria. I think so. Different universe. According to legend, it was the capital of Encavia, right up until it sank. I believe the nomads of the Salt Desert would know more. Their ancestors came from Engavia. Before you set out, get the Tome of the Pilgrim from Brother Ulred. 
I'm sure it will prove useful. All right, guys, we are going to take a break here for today. I am still having a lot of fun in Lost Ark. I'm enjoying the story. Like I said, they are taking a lot of plot elements that we've seen before. Demons, undead, the plague. And they're kind of weaving it all together into a story that is their own. And I appreciate that. Having a good time. I'm interested to know what you guys think of the game so far. Let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Lost Ark really soon. Bye now.